everyone and welcome back to Belle's Ideas. Today in this video I am going to be showing you how to make this napkin holder which is made out of styrofoam and since right now uh, we're getting ready for Halloween I thought this would be a cute, cute idea to show you guys and it's really easy. I bought these um, styrofoam bats at Walmart and there's 10 in a pack and they're 98 cents. Now it's gonna take two bats for each napkin holder, okay? And these are the tools or items that you're gonna be needing. Uh, you'll, you'll be needing a Sharpie, a box cutter, a lighter, and a lid. And I'll tell you the, the size of this, of this lid in the uh, description. And you will also need a glue gun and your napkin. Now, um, let's get started and I'll show you the steps on how you make uh, the circle in, in the bat so you can put your, your napkin through. Now you're going to need uh, to use two bats for each napkin because uh, that way you're, you're, it's, the bat stands up um, much easier and it looks uh, sturdier. So let's get started on this easy fun project. Okay guys, so this is the step on how to make the hole in the center of the bat. You simply get your cap, and let me show you the measurement of the cap so that you know exactly what size of cap um, I used. It's a one and a half size cap, and I just got it from a dressing bottle. Uh, but that actually fits uh, perfectly for the uh, napkin to go through the bat. So you place the um, cap, you center it on the bat, you grab your box cutter, and you're going to heat up the, um, the blade. So you're gonna need a lighter. And it was so much easier if you heat the, uh, the blade. It cuts so much smoother. So you go around, around the circle, around the cap, and you simply just cut, cut your circle, like so. So now that we have made our cut on our first bat, we are simply going to place it on the other bat that does not have the cut yet. Line it up as so, and then you are going to place the cap over the bat to make the second hole on the second bat. Okay, so here is where I am going to put the a little, a, a small little dab on each uh, edge, just to keep the bat together. Like so. Okay, so here are the steps on how to fold the napkin, and you will be needing three pins to keep the napkin together. So on the napkin, you will um, fold it halfway lengthwise, okay. and, and then you will fold this edge here. Now, I have an iron, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the iron to keep the material or the napkin um, fold it down. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it's just, it makes it easier when folding the, uh, the napkin. Fold that side. Uh, this, that, for each fold is one inch on each side. So you're gonna be folding in one inch. So we're gonna use the iron again on this this side here. One more fold, one inch. Okay. 
and you roll your napkin. You're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And this is where you, at the end, this is where you're going to be using the pins to keep the napkin together. It's up to you, whatever you all want to use, but the pins worked for me. Okay, guys, so here you go. This is um, now that the napkin, not with the pins. I do want to make sure and let you know that when you're rolling your napkin, make sure that you roll it tight. Otherwise, it's not going to fit in the hole uh, of the bat. So roll it tight. Let me show you how you can put your napkin through the bat. This is how it should fit. Should be a perfect fit, actually. Okay, and there you have it. Now, one last thing I do want to show you. Um, when you put the glue on the edges, it does show a little bit. So what you can do is you can get a black marker. I'm using a Sharpie. And just do your little touch-ups to cover up the shiny uh, glue. And it's just a simple touch-up. And there you go. There's your um, napkin holder as a bat, and you're ready to decorate your table with this cute Halloween um, decoration. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you on the next video. Thank you.